Sometimes wine is not the conversation piece. Instead, it's the glass. There's lots of things that I've tried over the years and nothing lasted as long and, or held my interest as much as this. Meredith Gordon is a Plymouth-based artist who hand paints glass. She began doing this for special events at area department stores. I was asked to paint on wine glasses and people were just coming over and, and looking at them and, and asking if they could purchase them. Wine flowers blossomed as a business in 2012. I am a gardener, I love, I'm obsessed with flowers, and when I even think back on the stuff that I painted before I ever put a paintbrush to a wine glass, it was always flowers. Flowers often have special meaning to people, says Gordon. I have sent people who will order glasses in memoriam of people. Customers order glasses for weddings and for the holidays. Others just want to treat themselves. They know they're going to have a glass of wine at the end of the day and they get their special glass. I just feel honored that it's part of that special part of their day. Gordon says she paints quickly but carefully. Lots of things are two and three layers of paint. The hydrangeas are the most time consuming. Gordon bakes everything in her oven to cure the paint. If wine is bottled poetry, as the saying goes, then so are these glasses. Opening a bottle of wine isn't an event in itself. It's got a little bit of ceremony wrapped up in it. So I love that the wine glass, when it's painted, is like another extension of that, that little ritual or ceremony. Oh my gosh, those are so beautiful, so really amazing. And there are some advantages to painting on glass. Meredith says if you make a mistake, you can just wash it off easily before it dries. And as hmm. we've talked about, they look like they make fantastic gifts. Right. <laughs> hint, hint. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shada Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope you have a great weekend. And we hope to see you back here again on Monday night for another edition of Chronicle. Good night, everybody.